Hello guys, it's Allstar and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm doing a mod spotlight on a mod called Soul Shards 2, which is um, a mod where you can capture soul essence and use it to make your own spawners. And uh, for those who know what Soul Shards 1 is, um, it was a very fun mod where you could actually get tiered spawners and stuff, and the higher tier it was, the more they would spawn and stuff, and it was really cool. I really liked that mod. Uh, Soul Shard 2, Soul Shards 2, I should say that a little slower and not speak so fast. Um, I don't think it actually has tiered spawners. I've been messing around with this for, for a little bit, and uh, it's actually pretty simple now. Uh, and it makes me feel like this mod is still like an early release, so I don't think he's done. Uh, and there's a couple signs that show that it is an early release. So, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find a lot of spawners. In order to get one soul cage filled with soul essence to actually spawn your own mobs, you're going to need at least four spawners to do that. And I'll, sh and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm going to place down these four. Now let's say we, na we found these naturally spawned in the world. Of course they're not going to be creepers, okay? So I'm going to switch to creative, or not creative, but... Um, I guess adventure. I wonder if I can break these. Um, and I'm going to break these real quick. And you can. And you see we get this this item right here. And it's called a crystallized soul essence. Now like I said you're going to need four of these to actually get started. So I'm going to grab the rest of these. And now we have four. Alright cool. So what do we do with these things? Alright so I'm going to switch uh, back to creative for a second. Um, what we can do with these is we can get ourselves a sword called a shadow blade. And the shadow blade is used to actually uh, store souls inside of these uh, soul essence. Now let me show you guys how to make this. So to make one of these, you're going to need two crystallized soul essence. So right there, you're going to need two spawners, okay, to make just this sword. And then you're going to need another soul essence to actually make uh, a soul shard. And I'll explain to you how that works right now. So I got myself the shadow blade. Now I'm going to go kill this spider and watch what happens. And it's actually a pretty strong blade, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see that it used up one of my soul essences, and it created a soul shard with this, with spider stored in it. Alright, so that's cool. Now you're, you're probably thinking, okay, what's the last soul shard used for, or the uh, crystallized soul essence? Well, that's used to make the uh, soul cage. So to make a soul cage, what we need to do is we need to get ourselves one crystallized soul essence, so we need another spawner, four iron ingots, and four obsidian. So you're going to need to get yourself some diamonds first before you can get into this mod. Alright, so let's go spawn some of these in. I already did. Okay, so all you need to do is place this down, use the soul shard, click on the block, and it will store it in there. Now spiders should start spawning. Since it's daylight outside, they won't spawn. So let's switch it to night real quick and see if we can get ourselves some spawn. Some spawns. Uh, let's do midnight. Alright, and you can see now we're getting spiders. And I think the more I kill, the more they store. So be careful with uh, your your shadow blade because uh, because it will uh, store stuff in your soul essences if you have them in your inventory. Alright, so, um, another thing is when you break the, uh, the soul cage, it will actually, uh, drop itself. And I actually have two with me. One of these have sheep and one of these have spiders. Now, this is one thing I don't really like about it, is they're grouped together, which is kind of hard. You don't know which is which. So, let's see which one's sheep. One of these should be sheep, unless, uh, something has changed. Because, um... Because if it stacks together, that must have been a bug. I don't know. It's like I said, this feels like an early release. So what could have happened here is that it could have converted my sheep one into a spider one. So let's let's test this out here. Let's switch it to nighttime again. And see if these spawn spiders. Now I'm going to switch myself to uh, creative here. And let's see if we get some spiders going. And you can see they take quite some time to spawn. Um, for a second, I thought they weren't working when I was uh, messing around with this earlier, and they just take a while, which is another, uh, I guess, another feature of these. Now, I don't know if there's a, a distance on these, like if you could stand this far away and it will uh, spawn, or if you have to be super close like with other ones. 
Now, um, another thing that we could do with these spawners, which is pretty cool, I'm going to set it to dawn, is we can hook redstone up to these and turn them off and on. So, uh, if I break this, it looks like they're bugged. Um, we have another spider one here. I want to get myself, um, let's get ourselves a sheep. So, I'm going to get myself a spawn egg real quick. Those would be located in miscellaneous. Let's do... Where's the sheep at? They're color-coded, so sheep... Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to spawn myself a sheep, and I'm going to kill one of these. All right, now we have a sheep. Uh, let's get ourselves some of these soul cages going. I'll place it in there. All right, so we should be getting sheep. So now you can see that some spawned. Now I'm going to get myself a lever. And what should happen is when I turn this off, nothing should spawn. And you can see it turned it to a gray. So that means it's on and off. You can also hook redstone dust up to it. That should work. There you go. And I believe anything redstone, like maybe pressure plates too. We'll see. See, yep. Anything that has a redstone uh, update next to it. And you can see it turns it off and on. Now, I'm, I believe that when they stack together, it bugs them out. So uh, try not to do that if you are going to use this mod. Because for some reason, those spiders and sheep weren't spawning. So, yeah. But like I said, this feels like an early release. Uh, there's even one more item that I don't know the use of. Uh, this is called the Soul Binding Shard. I've been trying to figure out what this does. I messed around with it, and I couldn't get it to do anything. So I'm guessing it's going to be a feature that's added later. Uh, and if it isn't, I will, of course, in the next video I make for this, because I hope that there's going to be updates. And if there is, I will make um, update videos for it. And if it, if it does have a use, I will cover that in the next video. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video and you, found, and you found it useful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, bros.